Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my podcast. An update on my crafting life. What have I been up to? Well, first of all, I have a little happy mail to share with you. I thought I'd share with you a couple of special crafting Christmas presents I received. Um, some finished objects and maybe a bit of chat. So, well, let's get started. Well, because of the flooding and all the dramas we had over just before Christmas and during Christmas, some of the mail has arrived late. But I have received a beautiful Christmas card from Barbara. Hi, Barbara. It finally arrived. Yes, I got this. It was a lovely surprise and cheered me up no end. I also got a lovely little card from Gary at Urban Yarns. Hi, Gary. Yes. It's really nice to get something from Canada and um, it's always great to hear from Gary, Chad and Pixel, their little dog. So there you go. A couple of Christmas cards that have finally arrived in the mail. I do believe there's possibly more Christmas mail on the way for people. So at Christmas time, um, I did really didn't want a lot. I didn't want more yarn because I want to work through my yarn stock and really get it down. But I did have a few things on my wish list. One of them was, when we went to the UK, I must have gone absolutely everywhere trying to get this book and everyone was out of stock. In London, through the Scotland, everywhere. No one had this book. And Reeves ordered it for me. It did arrive just after Christmas, on ready for New Year's Eve. And I'm really wrapped to have it. So here you have it. Tom Daly's Made With Love. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's a UK Olympic diver. And at the last Olympics, in between contests, he was sitting knitting a jumper with Olympic rings. This is a really great book. It's quite weighty. It's hardback. Um, and it's not exactly cheap. It's quite expensive to get. And it did have to come from the UK. But Reeves bought me that for Chris, one of my Christmas gifts. He did give me other things, but this was the one he was disappointed that hadn't arrived before the flood. But we did get it before New Year's Eve. So he said, Happy New Year. It's really an interesting book. I won't go through it. It's got 30 knitting and crochet patterns. Get hooked with 30 knitting and 30 crochet patterns and have a look through it. So yeah. Um, he, I, I have followed him on Instagram for a while. He does do some really interesting knitting. And uh, as my son in London said, once he was seen at the Olympics knitting, a lot of the gay community started knitting. So there you have it. He said there are more and more people knitting thanks to Tom Daly. That was one of the things. I had some patterns on my Ravelry wish list. That thing went through and he bought me three patterns. But he does it a weird way. He doesn't send them as gifts. He buys them as a guest and then prints them all off and puts them in sleeves for me. So one of them is the Iron Lamb Midnight Beach Top. I thought this would be really good for casual around here. Now, I can't even remember what they were. But if I find the links, I'll put them in the description below. They're off Ravelry. Here it is. It's very hippie looking. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic you make it in. Um, I think it must be a Hobie Craft. It's Knit Craft Cotton Blend Plan DK from Hobby Craft, which I discovered today I can actually buy and I'll send it from the UK. So he prints all the pages off and he puts it in the sleeve for me. So that was one of them. The other was, if you remember, I made the Mushroom Lady for my wreath. It was really popular. And they did have another one that I really liked. So it's Kitty Cat Mushroom Fay, Mushroom Frables Crochet. And it's a mushroom cat. Sorry about the glare. I'm relying on natural light. So there you have it. It's quite a weighty pattern. But I did think for Amigurumi, I wouldn't mind making that this year and he bought me that one he also bought me one that I really had in my wishes and I want and I'll probably try and make one before my April market 
This is Svetlana Horara, Fain, Fainy Toys crochet pattern. I think YOH Crochet made one of these and she was a featured when she was a featured designer. But there you have it. Crochet cactus hand. I love it. And I do have orange and green. So yeah. The Mushroom Fables ones, these Mushroom Fables Crochet, Iron Lamb, it just, yeah, Iron Lamb, Iron Lamb Designs, Midnight Beach Top. They were the patterns he got me. This one, the cat, Mushroom Cat has huge amount of pages. But yeah, he bought me three patterns and wrapped them up and gifted them to me. Um, so not a lot of crafting stuff. Um, as I said, I have quite a bit and I am trying to get my yarn stock down and um, declutter. That was one of the things the flood brought home. Declutter and really become minimalistic. Anyway, finished objects. So I finished an object that I started in December and uh, I sort of forgotten about any of my bit of craft room cleanup, which I've had again. Um, reducing things. I finished off this little Octo. Ta -da! This is a Premi Octo tutorial by Terry at Yarn Joy. I'll put a link there. It's like it's called a pram buddy because you put it on th a ring through it and you can hang it in front of a baby car seat or a pram. Look, I put artificial eyes and I'm not sure that's a great idea, but there you have it. I made it in. And this is from my yarn stock, Cotton, Sullivan's Cotton Fly Five Ply Knitting and Crochet Yarn that I bought in Melanda. It doesn't have a colour number. It's 55% 50, acrylic, 45% cotton. And yeah, ta da! He, she's very, or he's very cute. But um, I finished that off. That was a finished object. But that's an old whip from December. So, the new whip. I picked on January the 1st from all my bagged up um, gifts of kindness, whether it be a pattern or yarn, and I have all these project bags ready to go and numbered on the wheel. And I picked number eight, which was yarn given to me by Raylene from Victoria. Hi, Raylene. And I decided I would make a poncho. And I thought it'd take me a while, but I actually finished it in a week. And it's huge. And it's heavy. So I can't model it for you, but I do have a photo I've taken, not a great one, but a photo that I'll put at the end because it's extremely hot here. We're going through a heat wave. I think it's 35 Celsius every day, and I just couldn't. Bear the thought of putting it on. So here we go. Ta da! It's fringed and everything. I made this poncho. It was just so quick in the yarn that Raylene gave me. She gave me 800 grams of this, and I probably used 690 grams. It was mill ends. She sent me a label of what it was. It was, now I've got it in my notes. Just bear with me. The mill ends were, ta -da, ta -da, um, Ganga Cosmos Blended Acrylic. It has a glitter thread through it. And um, she found it on Google search and email me the label so I could see what sort of yarn it was. Now, I don't normally fringe ponchos, but this poncho is a tutorial that I've eyed off before. And of course, it's by Crystal at Bag O' Day. So it's called the Opal Bridge Poncho. And it is quite long and she puts fringes on it. And I just thought, because I had so much of this yarn, I would fringe it and everything. I probably will try and sell it at, uh, at my April market if the temperature drops and it becomes cooler because it is quite weighty. And yes, I really do like it. And um, hopefully if I sell it, it'll be a good fundraiser for my charity for Emma's Quest. 
Now, I have um, this and one skein and a few scraps left. Now, I took Rachel's advice, Raylene's advice. I know I kept saying Rachel. Raylene's advice, she said something about she'd use it, use a centre pull that could catch. And what I did was Reeves put them on the ball winder and he made me all these jumbo balls for each skein and it was perfect. The only issue I had with it, and I rarely get this, I think I get itchy eyes with Karen Latte cakes, but I do like them. I got itchy eyes with some sort of fibre floating around. I couldn't work out if it's the glitter or the acrylic. I also, if I did a lot of it at once, I would start sneezing. So, um, Maybe I had a bit of an allergic reaction to it, but I haven't now. Now that I've done it, it's really great. The tutorial is easy to follow. Two row to repeat, and it is so fast to work up. Just really fast. If you want a quick poncho project, this is the perfect tutorial. I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed finishing it. Look, I'm not great at fringe. I would, if I were you, I'd follow um, Crystal's way of doing the fringe. I did as much as she could her way, and um, yeah, it was the most time-consuming part was cutting the fringe and putting the fringe on. But it looks awesome. So thank you, Raylene. I really love the yarn. I enjoyed the project, and I appreciate your gift of kindness. So that was that. Well, being the first week in January, Mad Mimi is going to be doing Bod Hatapalooza again. I said it wrong. Bod Hatapalooza. I have to say it quick. <laughs> and she showed us week one. There were lots of Bod Hats we didn't do, and there is enough to do another year. And if she brings out more tutorials, it could go into her third year. I like this make-along, and it is marching to the beat of my own drum, because... I need to make hats for um, charity and it's a great way. Someone picks the pattern and I can check out the yarn and I can check my yarn stock and make a beanie. So, first beanie out happened to be probably my favourite of the Bag of Dough beanies, the chocolate bonbon hat. Why I don't make more, I don't know. Because I love this tutorial and the way this beanie turns out. So the other thing I did about this was Mad Mimi and Jan, Alaskan crafter, the channel's links will be in the description below. They came up with a hashtag stash before cash 2024. I love it. So I decided stash before cash to make this beanie. And I went to my scraps and I made this chocolate bonbon beanie. Now, this colour, I'm, I couldn't tell you what it was. I'm fairly certain it was um, Karen Simply Soft. It's got a fleck in it. And then because I knew I wouldn't have enough, I used this one. This chocolate brown with a bit of an orangey fleck, which is Heartland. Because I did save the ball band. And um, this colour is Sequoia and it's 100% acrylic, just like the Karen Simply Soft. It is beautiful and soft. This is a little head um, model. It, it fits me perfectly and I've got a booth head, but I do like it. And I think the chocolate bonbon beanie will be my favourite crochet beanie for a long time. So... Week one for Bod Hatterpalooza got off to a great start for me. I loved the crochet tutorial picked and I loved using up my scraps or partly used skeins from my stock and shopping my stash before spending my cash. There you have it. That I just love it. I'm going to keep doing some of the Bod Hatterpalooza beanies, especially if they meet the criteria I need for charity. Um, some of them don't, but other, most of them do. So hopefully I'll at least do one a month, if not more. And thanks to Laura at Mad Mimi Farming and Crochet for running it again. 
must check out her channel she's really funny and what else is that not a lot knitting wise i didn't bring it in i've been working on my advent the decrease decreasing the side of the rain and shine blanket by Stephen west i've probably done about four inches um and i've worked on other things i've worked on my make along shutterbug au my shutterbug um amigurumi i'm doing and i decided to do a blanket i was going to do the zigzag blanket by ophelia talks but i keep seeing all these other great blankets so by the 15th hopefully i've started a lap gan because i can always use lap gans to give away for crochet for cancer and i thought well the shutterbug wasn't going to be a lot of work each fortnight and maybe a lap gown at the same time would be great so far eight people have participated and shown their projects there are blankets there are just some awesome projects um kathleen sent me her picture because she doesn't do social media and she picked the most awesome amigurumi that perfectly matched the photo and the color palette i was truly blown away um, I think someone else is doing the zigzag blanket. Um, there were and other people have emailed saying, I am joining in. Remember, you just need to post one picture a month. That would be awesome. And you can combine the two choices in the month into one project. Um, but yeah, if you are part of the Facebook group, make sure you um, give Kathleen and everybody's photos that, I, that are up there a thumbs up and consider joining the Facebook group it is a private group it's just us ladies and gentlemen who crochet and knit and talk about craft occasionally I will post something else up there to do with me for example we have what we call the pink test which is a test cricket match that goes for five days the reason it's the pink test one of our famous cricketers, Glenn McGrath, his first wife died of breast cancer and they set up this charity, the McGrath Foundation, that provides funding for breast cancer nurses. And the Pink Test is a big fundraiser for this charity. You buy a virtual seat and you go and pretend to sit and watch the cricket. The boys have been watching the cricket. I bought a virtual seat for me and my friend Ulia. I, have, I find cricket like I'd rather watch grass grow so I did say to all year in a, my message bring your crochet but yes it's a worthwhile cause and the pink test is definitely um, something I try and support every year even though I'm not a fan of cricket but the boys were watching it so there you go so sometimes I'll post something like that or something silly just to bring a smile to your face but generally it's about crafting so consider joining the Facebook group and um, yeah sharing your projects with us even if you don't join my make along shutterbug au anything you want to share with us to do with knitting crochet sewing would be awesome diamond painting any craft okay guys that's it from me this week the my little podcast on what i've been up to work's been busy life is finally getting back to sort of normality after the flood so yes, I'm smiling again. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and consider joining my Make Along Shutterbug AU. Make sure you check out the link to the video to see what it's all about. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.